Hello everyone, my name is Michael and in this video I'll show you how you can use NodeMailer to send free email templates in Node.js. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you haven't already watched my tutorial on NodeMailer, go up here and visit this video as you will need some basic knowledge to follow along with me. So first of all, we will be using NodeMailer Express Handlebars package. This is the secondary package besides NodeMailer. And this will allow us to use handlebars or otherwise HTML to send those email templates. Handlebars is almost the same as HTML, but it also allows us to send dynamic fields, to use dynamic fields. So let's see an example we had right here. So you require non Miller express handlebars. And then using the transporter from node mailer, we can tell transporter to use compile and to compile with this module right here. And we can also specify a few options, which I'll show you in a bit. Then in our email, besides the basic ones, which are from to and subject values, we can also specify the template one, which is the name of our handlebars file and also it can specify some context variables, which these are the dynamic variables we are going to use in our handlebars file. So if we go on the code, as you will see here, I have already specified an example. And if we scroll down, as you will see, first of all, besides the default template, which uses node Miller to create a transport, and then we specify a few mail options and then we are sending the email. We have added a few extra lines of code and I'm going to show you what each and, each and every one does. Right here on the handlebar options, we are specifying the view engine and actually I have to replace this .html file with handlebars. And for the extension name, we are specifying which extension name we are going to use for our template file. For this tutorial, I'm using handlebars. And as I'll show you in this example, which is inside of our views folder, as you will see, I can use double bracket. And inside of the double brackets, I can specify my dynamic variable. And this can be whatever I want. It can be a title, it can be a name, it can be a full underscore name. It can be anything that I want. And here I have created a very simple example. Right here, I'm showing you how you can use style. And you can only use style inside the HTML file. You cannot create an external CSS file and use that. You cannot do that. So let me delete that. You can only specify the style in the handlebars file. You can also use a link tag which you can require, for example, bootstrap. But let's go back on our handlebars example. And here besides the extension name, we are also specifying the path to our folder, which has those templates. And the path to it is dot slash views because it's on our views folder. And then for default layout, layout, I say to false and you should do that too because we want to use our dynamic layout. Then for our view path, again, we are specifying the views folder. And then we are again specifying our extension name. So that's it for the handlebars options. You can check more of that in the documentation. So if we scroll down, you can go here and you can see all the other extensions, all the other options. So link on that down in the description to check it out. Now let's go back. And now, like I showed you from the example, we are using transporter and we say compile it and we give it the HBS, which means handlebar, because we are using this module right here. And then we are specifying the options as a parameter. Then what we do is we go on the mail options and on template, I'm specifying the name of our template. And as you'll see here, my handlebars file is named email.handlebars. 
So whatever you have in front of the dot handlebars and you want to use that file, you do that name on the template value. Then for context on the title, as you will see, I say title equal to title here. So this field right here will be replaced with this title here variable. And that's mostly it. Let's say I want to use another one. Let's do a P, a P tag. And then let's do double brackets. And then let's do a full underscore name or just text. And let's go get a comma. And then under that, we can do text equal to lorem ipsum, etc. etc. And now text right here will be replaced by our text right here. And then let's apply another style onto our paragraph. So to do that, we do P and then let's say color blue, just to make sure our styles is working. Then we can go ahead and right, as you will see here, we are sending the email with those options. Up here, we have to specify our user, which is our email. And you can use not only Gmail, but any service, just you have to specify your service up here as well. And here we can use our app password or our own, our own password, which I don't recommend. So to get an app password, just check the video I made on NodeMailer. So let me replace that and let's test it out. By the way, I'll have the code down in the description so you can clone it from GitHub and you can follow along with me. Just make sure you replace the fields with your own. So now let's do node and then let's do handlebars. And as you'll see here, we say email send and okay. So we are getting that the email is sent. Now, if you heard, I just got a notification in my email. So let's go ahead and check that out. So there we go. We got the email title here, which if we verify right here, as you'll see, our title is equal to title here. So that indeed worked. And also we have our lower Ipsum test, which is correct. And also the styling worked, which is good. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of future videos. And it will also support me a lot as I'm trying to hit those 1000 subscribers so I can start monetizing my videos and invest back in this channel. So yeah, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.